Hey, you. Yes, you, sitting there thinking life is a lottery that always favors others. What if I told you that you have a winning ticket hidden in your pocket? No, I haven't lost my mind. I'm talking about the manifestation power you carry within. Ready to discover how to use that magic wand you didn't know you had? Imagine for a moment that you're the director of the movie of your own life. The camera is rolling, the set is ready, but who's writing the script? Surprise! It's you, it's always been you. Every scene, every dialogue, every dramatic turn has been your work. Scared? Don't be! Because if you've had the power to create your current reality, you also have the power to rewrite it. In a world where scarcity seems to reign, there exists a secret power that few know about and even fewer master. No, it's not a new cryptocurrency or a get-rich-quick scheme. Allow me to share a personal story that illustrates this concept. Years ago, I found myself at the bottom of a financial pit so deep that sunlight seemed like a distant myth. Debts, underpaid jobs, and a constant feeling of scarcity were my daily companions. It was then that I discovered this universal truth, I was the creator of my reality, for better or worse. With this revelation, I decided to change the script of my life. I began to use powerful decrees, affirmations that resonated with abundance and success. At first, I felt like a novice actor reciting lines I didn't believe. But I persisted. And, as if by magic, although I now know it wasn't magic at all, my reality began to transform. Opportunities arose out of nowhere, lucrative ideas sprouted in my mind and little by little, abundance became my new normal. The secret? The decrees I'm about to share with you. But first, let me ask you a question, have you noticed how you've manifested everything around you? Your house, your family, the clothes you're wearing, even the food on your plate. Everything, absolutely everything, has been manifested by you on some level. As the great William Shakespeare said, we are such stuff as dreams are made on. Now, prepare to receive two powerful decrees that will act as an abundance trigger in your lives. These are not mere words, they are keys that open the doors of conscious manifestation. The first decree is, the power within me is my immediate and inexhaustible supply, which takes the form of food, clothing, money, success, and anything I need, right here and now. I decree this and I am aware of the manifestation that is taking place right now. It is done. Repeat it with me, with conviction, with authority. Feel how each word resonates in your being, how each syllable reprograms your reality. As Neville Goddard said, what you imagine, you create. What you feel, you attract. What you think, you become. The second decree is equally powerful, I am now open and receptive to my highest good. The unlimited supply of the universe floods me now through an unlimited number of channels. I give thanks for the infinite blessings and the flow of abundance that now manifests in my life. These decrees are not simple affirmations, they are declarations to the universe, cosmic orders that set in motion the forces of creation. As the great Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Now, doubts may arise. Perhaps you're thinking, this sounds too good to be true and I understand that perspective. I myself was skeptical at first. But I invite you to consider the words of philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer, all truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, it is accepted as being self-evident. I propose an experiment. For the next 30 days, repeat these decrees aloud, three times each, several times a day. Do it standing up, with your right hand raised, infusing authority and power into each word. You don't need to have faith, all you need to do is do it. Because, as the great Henry Ford said, whether you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Observe how your reality begins to transform. Pay attention to the coincidences that will start to occur, to the opportunities that will arise out of nowhere, to the brilliant ideas that will sprout in your mind. Because, as Carl Jung said, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. But remember, dear viewers, 
this power is not to be used selfishly or to harm others. As Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. Use this power to create a life of abundance not only for yourselves but for everyone around you. Imagine for a moment what your life would be like if you truly believed and acted from the certainty that you are the creators of your reality. How would your decisions change? How would your relationships transform? What goals would you dare to pursue? I leave you with a final reflection from the great poet Rumi, you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Each of you contains the power of the entire universe. You are infinite creators in an infinite universe of possibilities. So, dear architects of destiny, take your decrees as powerful tools, and begin to build the life of your dreams. Remember, you're not asking the universe, you're ordering your own inner divinity to manifest in all its glory. And when you see the results, when you feel abundance flowing in your lives, don't forget to share this knowledge. Because, as the great Martin Luther King Jr. said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Thank you for accompanying me on this journey of discovery and transformation. Until next time, and remember, you are the all-powerful creators of your reality. Use that power wisely, and you'll see how the entire universe conspires to make your boldest dreams come true. Now, let's explore two additional subtopics that can further enhance our understanding and practice of manifestation. The role of quantum physics in manifestation. While the concept of manifestation might seem esoteric to some, modern quantum physics provides a fascinating scientific framework that supports many of these ideas. Understanding this can deepen our practice and strengthen our belief in our manifestation abilities. Key Quantum Principles Relevant to Manifestation Ah, observer effect, in quantum experiments, the act of observation affects the behavior of particles. This suggests that our consciousness can influence reality at a fundamental level. When we focus our attention on our desires through decrees and visualization, we may be directly influencing the quantum field of possibilities. b. Superposition, at the quantum level, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed. This principle suggests that multiple potential realities exist concurrently. Our focused intention and belief may help collapse these potentials into our desired reality. C. Entanglement Quantum entanglement shows that particles can be instantaneously connected across vast distances. This supports the idea that we are all interconnected, and that our thoughts and intentions can have far-reaching effects. D. Zero-point field Quantum physics posits the existence of a zero-point field, a sea of potential from which all matter arises. Some theorists suggest that this field is responsive to human consciousness. Our decrees and focused intentions may be interacting with this field to manifest our desires. To leverage these quantum principles in your manifestation practice. Cultivate a sense of certainty, when you decree, do so with the absolute conviction that you are already experiencing your desire. This certainty may help collapse the wave function of possibilities into your desired reality. Practice non-attachment, while focusing on your desires, also cultivate a state of detachment from specific outcomes. This aligns with the quantum understanding that the act of observation influences reality. Expand your awareness, regularly contemplate the interconnectedness of all things. This can help you recognize opportunities and synchronicities that support your manifestations. Embrace uncertainty, the quantum world is probabilistic, not deterministic. Embrace the uncertainty in your manifestation journey, knowing that infinite possibilities exist. The Neuroscience of Affirmations and Decrees Understanding how affirmations and decrees work from a neuroscientific perspective can enhance our practice and reinforce our belief in their effectiveness. Key Neuroscientific Concepts Related to Affirmations and Decrees Ah, neuroplasticity, our brains have the ability to form new neural connections throughout life. When we consistently repeat affirmations and decrees, we're literally rewiring our brains, creating new neural pathways that support our desired reality. B. Reticular Activating System RAS This is a network of neurons in our brainstem that filters the massive amount of information our brains process. By consistently focusing on our desires through decrees, we're programming our RAS to notice opportunities and resources that align with these desires. 
c. Mirror neurons. These neurons fire both when we perform an action and when we observe someone else performing the same action. When we vividly imagine ourselves living our desired reality while decreeing, we may be activating these mirror neurons, preparing our brains for this new reality. d. Emotion and memory. The amygdala, part of our limbic system, plays a crucial role in processing emotions and forming memories. When we infuse our decrees with positive emotions, we're more likely to create strong, lasting neural pathways associated with our desires. To leverage these neuroscientific principles in your decree practice. Consistency is key, repeat your decrees regularly to strengthen the associated neural pathways. Engage multiple senses, when decreeing, engage as many senses as possible in your visualization. This creates a more robust neural network associated with your desire. Emotion amplifies effect, feel the positive emotions associated with your desire as you decree. This enhances the formation of neural pathways and memories. Take inspired action, after decreeing, stay alert for opportunities to take action towards your goals. This reinforces the new neural pathways you're creating. By integrating these quantum and neuroscientific perspectives into your decree practice, you're not just engaging in positive thinking, you're actively participating in the fundamental processes that shape reality. Your decrees become a powerful tool for aligning your consciousness with the infinite potential of the universe and rewiring your brain for success. As you continue your manifestation journey with these decrees, remember that you're not just changing your thoughts, you're changing the very structure of your brain and interacting with the quantum field of infinite possibilities. Each repetition of your decrees is a step towards rewiring your neural pathways for success and collapsing the wave function of potential into a reality of abundance. Embrace this practice with enthusiasm and wonder. You are engaging with some of the most profound principles of physics and neuroscience every time you decree. Trust in the process, knowing that you are supported by the fundamental laws of the universe and the incredible plasticity of your own brain. May your journey of manifestation be filled with joy, discovery, and ever-expanding abundance. Remember, with every decree, you are not just affirming a desire, you are actively participating in the cosmic dance of creation, shaping your reality in alignment with your highest aspirations. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the science and spirituality of manifestation. May your decrees bring you boundless prosperity and fulfillment. Until we meet again, keep decreeing, keep believing, and keep embracing the magical potential of each moment. The universe is waiting to respond to your highest intentions. Are you ready to claim the reality you desire? The power is yours. Use it wisely, use it joyfully, and watch as your world transforms in beautiful and unexpected ways.